Donkey of the Day for Friday, August 31st goes to Minnesota House candidate Kyle Green. Look, man, uh, I think like most minorities in this country, I have a love-hate relationship with America. I don't have time to list all the things I hate about this country because I have to start with slavery and make my way up to mass incarceration, cover the unarmed killings of black and brown men, uh, boondock season four, polygamy not being legal. There's a lot of things in this country I haven't historically liked. But one thing I love about this country is freedom of speech, even though we all know free speech isn't free. Okay, it is a cost because you can say what you want, but you can't tell people how to feel about what you said. And if people choose to be offended, then you have to deal with the consequences of that offense. But I still respect the people who speak freely with zero regard to how people will take it. And Kyle Green is one of those people. We are not going to act like Donald Trump. The celebrity in chief, Mr. Dope 45, hasn't changed the face of politics forever in this country. Uh, we don't want politicians anymore. We want human beings. OK, I want the good, the bad and the ugly of these human beings we call politicians. We want Bullworth. OK, go watch the movie. Google who's your friend, kids. Uh, I just want them to be their real selves. All right. We know people aren't perfect. We know people have flaws. I don't need a perfect politician because I know it's no such thing because it's no such thing as a perfect human being. But Kyle Green is a perfect example of when keeping it real goes wrong. All right. One thing to remember when we think about Donald Trump is that he is a rich, entitled white man. OK. So a lot of the stuff that he gets away with doing and saying is simply good old fashioned white privilege. So when a brother like Kyle Green, who is an organic farmer running for a state house seat in Minnesota, attempts to keep it uh, full real like Trump, we get what we got today. Now, Kyle Green said in a video posted on his campaign website and Facebook page, he's trying to get the support of voters in Minnesota District 18A. And this is his campaign ad. Hi, I'm your neighbor, Kyle Green. I'm running for District 18A state representative. I'm not asking for you to vote for me as your leader. I'm asking for you to vote for me as your public servant. The primary duty of a state representative is to protect all the rights of his constituents. I want to be your state representative. I want to be your public servant. And I want to be your nigger. Whoa. Whoa. That was crazy. <laughs> what? Uh... I wasn't expecting that. I'm just looking at Steve, making sure Steve's not laughing. Looking like the purple face uh, devil emoji over there. All right. Okay. All right. All right. So. Okay. Let me see where I take this. Play, play that. Play that. Isolate. Isolate the clip to last. This is the last part. Play the last. I want to be your nigger. All right. Uh, what? Kyle said, uh, Kyle said the N word is part of the American, is part of American history regardless of race. Adding it's a part of my history being African American, white, and Cherokee Indian. And he said that he used that slur because he wants people to focus on the real issues at hand. It's hard to focus on the issues at hand when, you, when your politicians are just out here throwing that word out all willy-nilly. Now, I don't know anything about Kyle Green, nor am I a citizen of Minnesota, but I am Googling Kyle Green today to find out more about him because after this campaign ad I just saw, uh, I am disgusted, but I am intrigued. All right, first of all, white people don't fall for that. If you are a white voter and want to vote for Kyle Green, just vote. All right, don't get the T-shirts and stickers that say Kyle Green, our nigga. All right, Steve, shut up. Oh, my goodness. All right. This is okay. <laughs> we don't need a Kyle Green making niggas great again campaign. All right, Kyle, don't you come out blood walking the YG, my hitter, my hitter. All right, no crip walking to see murder down for my hitters. You know, I mean, honestly, this I want to be your campaign would be great on Chappelle show. It would be great on In Living Color. It would be great on Key and Peele. But in real life, not so much, but life is a spoof now. America is one big sketch comedy, okay? This is, we're really living in the movie Idiocracy for real, for real. America is being executive produced by Donald Trump, and this is what we get. Let's hear it again. And I want to be your nigger. No, play the whole, I need it from the start. Start it from the tip here. Hi, I'm your neighbor, Kyle Green. I'm running for District 18A state representative. I'm not asking for you to vote for me as your leader. I'm asking for you to vote for me as your public servant. The primary duty of a state representative is to protect all the rights of his constituents. I want to be your state representative. I want to be your public servant. And I want to be your nigger. Mm-mm-mm. Does this make you want to vote for him? No. A little. I'm going to be honest. I'm going <laughs> to no, be honest. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. I need to hear no, more about his policies. <laughs> but he got it. me. I'm going to be honest. Stop I need it. to hear more. I need to hear his policies. But he got me. I'm going to be honest. It get your attention. He got me. I'm going to be honest. I want to know why he want to be my nigga. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I'm really <laughs> going to Google him, and I don't even live in Minnesota. But I'm glad that guys like Steve are in here because Steve is a white man. So when I hear Steve laughing, then I know that's how all the other white people feel when they see Kyle Green. So, Kyle, 
They're all laughing at you. We're all laughing at you. Please give Kyle Green the sweet sounds in the Hamiltons, please. Oh, now you are the donkey of the day. You are the donkey of the 